Alright, good evening YouTube. Tonight we are going to be tying a silly worm, which looks like that. Uh, I've been using this for trout the past few weeks, and it's actually been doing pretty good. Um, so I'm going to start with a number 12 curved shank hook. And I got myself some pink thread. And what you're going to do is start your thread back, work your way up towards the eye and then just work your way back I start or I end farther back on the hook shank just where it starts to curve down you can trim off your tag in and I got pink I also have blood red and then I got brown I've been doing my best on the pink material so, what you're going to do is just pop yourself off a bunch. And, you know, the full length. You can probably get two out of this. So, what you do is you find where it kind of curves down. Start there. Then you want to do a pinch knot, a wrap. You want to do two pinch wraps. This material is kind of hard to work with because it just wants to get in your way the whole time. Alright, and you want to see it's see how it wants to roll on you. Well, what you do to fix that is bring it back up. Wind your thread back up. I don't have the best bobbin here, so. And then do a couple wraps underneath. And then that'll lock it in. It won't want to really roll on you. Let me swing around just to pick that tail up a little bit. All right. So once you got that done, go ahead and do some loose wraps. You don't want to go too tight or it kind of thins your body out. Just so it looks kind of like that. You don't want it too thin. I mean, you can go thinner, but you just kind of do some. I do some counter wraps just so it holds the body in there a little better. You don't have to do too many. Come back over. All right, and then hold your other end this stuff's pretty brittle so you don't want to tie it too tight or else you will cut it and when I first started doing these it was just making me so freaking mad so do a couple wraps around it just to hold it in place and then you're going to wrap under it and then wrap above it and then come back under it just a few times and then get your material back out of the way see just this stuff just constantly gets in your way and it's going to keep doing that to me so just kind of get it out of your way take your whip finisher and do I don't know I do four or five wraps just to keep it tight Bring it back. And you don't want to use any kind of, of thread cement or anything like that because it will eat your material away. And I did not know that at first. And it was, I thought I kept, I thought I was tying it too tight and it was pinching this front off. And then I was like, oh, no, wait, that's the freaking cement. So just trim your thread. kind of get it centered and then you just kind of want to get your tail you want to you can leave a little extra and you, so it's kind of even but if the good stuff about this is if you start getting into some smaller fish that you just can't get the hook set you can pinch it off out there I had to do that I did use a couple with pinching it off here and that seemed to work but this gives it a real lively action as it's floating down like the rifts and stuff. 
just a nice wiggle. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's real easy to tie and it works really good. Um, for stock trout, I've caught a couple of naturals on it. Uh, caught one brookie on it. Um, so it's simple and it's effective. So that is my first fly tying video. I might have a couple more to go. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you.